Puss, 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 puss. Jonathan, come on. Hello, welcome to my studio. My name's Hugh and this is Jonathan, the studio cat. And today we're going to draw using negative spaces. So if you come over to the drawing desk, we'll start. So this is the chair we're going to use to demonstrate how to draw with negative spaces. It's, it's a good subject because it's got lots of interesting shapes and spaces in between the chair. So it's ideal. So, and it's very simple. Well, so, let's get started. Okay, right, we'll start with drawing this side of the chair first, this space here. So it's closest to me. And I'm using a piece of charcoal because it covers well. So we draw this square shape, like so. Then we do the front of the chair here, this, this uh, other square, like that. So it's the shape we're drawing, like that. There's a little slither here. So it's that space we're drawing there. Then we put the seat cover on. Like that. Then we draw the top of the back back of the chair here. Like that. We need another rectangle. And there's a little sliver here where the back of it is. And then we draw the rest there, a little quirky shape there like that. And then you can, with the side of the charcoal, just fill in the negative spaces. Like so, it's a bit more interesting. So you can use the negative space to make a good composition as well. So I was using an interesting subject to make the composition interesting. Like so, fill it in. Yeah. Redimensional. Oh. Uh, my charcoal's falling apart, that's okay. So, there you go. So, these are the negative spaces that I've been concentrating on. And by concentrating on the negative spaces, the subject matter materialises, the chair. And you can use this on different subjects, just to concentrate on the space around the subject. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found that informative. And I'll be doing lots more videos, so uh, thank you. Say goodbye, Jonathan.